Right, good evening guys. Evening. So we're, we've dressed up again. Go for another lovely meal. <laughs> uh, this time we're going to the Keel and Cow, which is one of the uh, extra paid for meal places, restaurants. Um, there's no freebies on this one, unlike no. the Olive Grove, where you can where you can get bits. Some are free and some you have to pay towards. So this one you have to pay completely for. They describe it as like a gastro pub. British we are on a British pub, yeah. cruise ship, so um, they do like steaks, burgers, yes. things like that. Now they do do steak in the main dining restaurants, in the free yes. main dining restaurants. But it's, you can get like the six ounce sirloins, which I've steak. had a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can have as many as you want, but you it can. does. It is six ounce. It is nice, but I'm expecting for this when you have to pay for yeah. it to be even nicer. We have so. seen. Uh, <laughs> It's, I'm not sure if it's all the steaks. They've got quite a few steaks we have seen in the menu. And we walked past the other night and they've got dry aging steaks hanging in a fridge. That well, they you can were swinging see. the other night. They were swinging because the, <laughs> the sea was rocking us a little bit. But no, hoping for a nice steak. Mm -hmm. They're known for a certain burger, which we will show you when we're down there. Yes, yeah. But I'm getting hungry now. Yeah, let's, let's go uh, and talk a steak. eat some tasty burgers. Ooh. So the King and Cow is uh, located in the atrium. It's not like a fully enclosed restaurant. You'll see the signs for it, we're on level eight. So just keep your eye out for it. Um, you have to join the virtual queue on their website. Uh, it took about 15, 20 minutes maybe. Um, and then you just get a notification through the website. You have to keep the page open, so make sure you do that. Then you just come down, check in, that's it. Simple as, really. Right, so the waiters just give our menu, the very friendly waiter and uh, look at the size of it it's a big menu there's a f there's four starters three to share uh, one to share and then you've got your fish and your pies and stuff but then here's the main bit the steaks so you get fillets ribeye sirloin t-bone and then they do a 32 ounce tomahawk the 32 ounce tomahawk is an extra 32 pounds which i don't think is too bad and oh this is the burger we mentioned the prime minister burger apparently it's the best burger on all the seas so one of us is definitely going to have to try this now we are eating here about 5 p.m i can't remember is it only open in the evening is it open at I, I will lunchtime? put the times on i've we'll got the times the, on we'll my phone somewhere on, yeah i can't remember if it's open at lunchtime or not i think so we, we're, not eat, sure. we're eating yeah. this early though because we're going to try catch a few shows tonight so yes, we're, we're yeah. going to 710 club again so we need to be there early for good seats so that's why if you're thinking you're eating early that's, that's why we're eating early we haven't had any dinner any lunch well not much so like we said before you had to join this virtual queue we were second in the queue and there's only three people in here three tables sorry not three people there's six of us in total it's a bit strange <laughs> it's, you know it's a little bit strange but if on level eight so the atrium if you see them shiny steps in the middle and then you've got this section as the keel and cow and then there's a section on the other side if you can make out the darker wall that's also keel and cow it's a bit spread out but i like the, the the vibe of it yeah i think we're just like early eaters so a lot of people probably want to eat later on line them stomachs if maybe if they're drinking on the drinks package but, yeah on the drinks package but the order's been placed and now what you have to do is sit we're on a cruise ship remember so you've got to sit back and admire these views until until it comes which what a tough life eh but the steak isn't tough so the starters come we've had one between us and it looks amazing. It's potted chicken and bacon roulette with toasted brioche and like a little chutney and some little pickles. It looks, oh, it's like a, a potted shredded chicken with some bacon, like mashed up bacon on top. Oh, I bet it's spreading this on some lovely little toasted brioche squares. And this was £3.50. This it's been like putting a little pot, it's got some herby butter on top. I can smell it. <laughs> it, smells, it smells delicious. That's delicious. It's not too heavy. It's not too like overly seasoned. You've got the salty bacon, the nice like shredded chicken, the little herby butter. Is the sauce nice? It's really oh, I didn't try any sauce. Mm, it looks like a little tomato chutney maybe. That'd be oh. nice on it. 
I don't know what's in that, but that's really tasty. That will go really nice with that. Top notch. Well, I've just tried some. We were trying to say what it tasted like, and we've come together and said it tastes like mango chutney. I so said there was fruit in it. There is fruit in it, yeah. It's a spicy mango yeah. chutney. But it's really delicious. I love it. Right, so the food's come, and I don't even know where we're going to start. It looks delicious. It's a good job we're hungry. Right, so I've just cut in to the Prime Minister burger. I mean, look at that. So it's like, kind of like a Big Mac, but you've not got a burger on the bottom. Tell them about the cheese, Kev. Oh yeah, by the way, it comes with Isle of White blue cheese, which we don't like blue cheese, so I ran up after I ordered, and they've put mozzarella on for us, so they have got a, a substitution, but it's got a big piece of dry-aged uh, smoked bacon, beefsteak, tomatoes, onions, all different kinds of onion marmalades, and oh, it's 28-day aged prime beef burger or something. But enough talking. On a brioche bun, I'm gonna have to try it. This isn't gonna be pretty. Stick this in my mouth. You ready? Oh. That is a nice burger. That is a very nice burger. There might be just a smidge too much tomato on for Stacy. Oh, okay. I like tomato a lot, but there's a lot on the bottom. The beef's say, nice. We are half in everything, so there's my half <laughs> yeah, we waiting are. for me there. And then Kev's gonna have half the steak. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I like the nice dry aged salty smoky bacon. Has it got sauce on the bacon? It's got pancetta jam, onion marmalade, roasted garlic mayonnaise, and oh it comes with a bottle of Stokesy's Bloody Mary ketchup as well. It just tastes absolutely delicious. Oh and you get skinny skin on fries as well which just chips to me. The burger's where it's at. Oh, I forgot to say just the price of this big Mama Java burger is £8.50. Which is a bargain, really. I bet you can't get a Burger King for £8.50. But look at this humongous steak. So we've had the T-bone. 18 ounce T-bone, which is 42 age, 42 day dry aged West Country prime beef. Yeah, and we've had it medium rare. Kev's no, medium. Medium, sorry. Medium. Kev's converted me over there because I used to I always have my steak well done and you've converted me yes. to have it medium on you. Yeah, I'm not quite brave enough for medium rare yet, but here it goes. Right. Oh, this looks so juicy. Is that nice? It looks nice. It comes with... That is so juicy. It intended. comes with chunky chips, oh. mushroom, grilled tomato, uh, iceberg lettuce wedge, a whole roasted garlic, and onion rings. Have have bite of that. Don't have all the good side. It looks delicious. Now I did say at the beginning of the video that in the main free restaurants you can have the free six ounce sirloin. Oh, it's tiny though which, compared to that. Which is you know is nice enough, but oh, if you want a nice piece of something, this steak is absolutely delicious it's well worth the money did we say how much it was for the steak 15 pound 50 for 18 yeah. ounce 14 uh, 42 day now dry back steak. home we were going for a steak of that size in a nice steak restaurant i wouldn't so even like it talking thing. like yeah i wouldn't even like a thing. lot more than that so i think it's absolutely I, i'm saying 30 40 bargain. pounds i'm gonna have to and sorry if you can hear me chomping on fries behind the camera but they're going a little bit cold so it literally, I think it's gone. It's melted on my tongue. It's actually melted oh, on my tongue. Oh, I can't wait to try some of that. And I've got the chunky chips go with it. Yes. That is so tasty though. A little pack of chunky chips there. I do like as a nice treat, like a nice steak. It's lovely. Yeah. Oh, try an onion ring. I would do onion ring for the oh, people. Fine. Comes with a little I stack of onion were... rings. Uh, cut the camera, I'll be back in a when I've torn this onion ring off. I'm back. I think they need to make them a little bit wider. Oh, that was funny. So I think these were like beer battered. Are they whole onion ring? Or whole pieces of onion? You know, like the nice ones we buy back over. They're yeah. not chopped onion, yeah. Nothing worse than a chopped onion they're onion nice, ring. nice, actually. They're not greasy. Do it with a bit of... Oh, so I could, the sauce come with it. That's what it needs, a bit of sauce. I don't even know what sauce this is. It doesn't matter if it's delicious. Oh, that's oh, the sauce. The peppercorn sauce. Ah, it's the peppercorn sauce that's actually for the I steak. I forgot about that. I don't want that sauce on the steak, I'm not real. I prefer it just as it is. I think the onion rings need a bit of ketchup. I'll dip a, a little chip in it. They're nice though, they're not greasy. Ooh, that peppercorn sauce mm. is nice. Right, go away now people. Let us enjoy this dinner.
Right, so there's not much left to that. I've just been gnawing on this T-bone steak a little bit, by the way. Um, bring on the dessert. So we were eating the starter and the main. We were docked up somewhere in Norway. Can't think of the name. It began with a H. Yeah, we'll put it down below name. somewhere. I, you can't see the iron curve now, but we are actually pulling off now. Unfortunately, this is the start of the descent back to Southampton. Yeah. But boo. Anyway, onto the pudding. <laughs> Look at that pudding. So we've had the sherry, which is a baked New York cheesecake with a blueberry elderflower and slow gin conserve, champagne and strawberry ice cream, and bourbon maple pecan nut pie. All of these was £5.50 for all three, which is an absolute bargain, because I was expecting to pay £5.50 just for cheesecake. Uh, I'm just going to try it quick, so... Mm. That strawberry and champagne ice cream is very refreshing. Yeah, I think it's strawberry and shrimp. Yeah, it's one. Oh, you just get like a little drapey note in the background. Mm. It's not overly powering like champagne flavour. There's all these blueberries. It's very fancy how it's displayed. It is very as well. nice. Can we take these home and I'll display our puddings like that at home? I know, yeah. <laughs> oh, pu listen, puddings don't last this long in our house. There's no point displaying them fancily when they all <laughs> go in about five seconds, so. Oh, the cheesecake is nice and soft. It feels very creamy. Mm. It's just like a very soft... It's got a sponge on the base, not a biscuit base, which is like the Junior's cheesecake we had in New York. If you didn't watch it, go back and watch it. Um, the, the jam, the blueberry elderflower conserves, not very overpowering, but Stacey will just eat that on its own anyway. And then this is the maple pecan nut pie, bourbon nut pie which I don't know what this cream is, it doesn't say. Maybe that's the bourbon bit. It's like cress. I think it's got a piece of cress on it. Hmm. A bit random. That's very nice. And crunchy nuts. I think they've warmed it up a little bit. It's, um, yeah, it's a bit like a treacle pie with nuts on it. I don't know what I'll say really. What's this cream? Yeah, I think it's like a bourbon cream. It goes nice with that. I've got one thing I'd like to see, because it's been a while now. As soon as it was a sharing platter, are, are we sharing it, or are you tucking away to the old lot there? Right, I'll cut the camera now so you can fight that dessert off so I can have some. Yeah, so it's got a bit busy now, uh, so we are going to finish this off in the room. But, if you notice, like we pointed out before, so there's the atrium. The bar's just around this corner. That's where the cookie stays, you I can open the kitchen. There's a door just down here. Uh, it's a bit weird because people walked through earlier in yeah, like, like shorts and uh, like a wet t-shirt because they come out of the pool. Yeah, like you say, it's hard to explain how the restaurant is situated, but like say it is a, a walk-through kind of thing of not people eating in it the It doesn't bother us. It doesn't bother us, but just bear in mind, um, we're getting more light into the evening now where people are coming down from dinner after getting showered and stuff so in the men there'll probably be more people walking through so but just bear that in mind or maybe if you want to get a bit more quieter and intimate sit a bit further down the other end right so we're back on the balcony now as you can tell just the uh, last views of land before we're out at sea for a day and a half we're completely stuffed by the way yes we are <laughs> uh, really recommend that Really enjoyed that. It was one yeah, of the nicer meals we've had. Yeah. The total cost for one starter, a big burger, a big T-bone steak, and the sharing dessert platter. Basically, it, a pudding each, a dessert and each, and a scoop of yeah. ice cream e yeah. e extra each, and two large Pepsi maxes. Yeah. Was thirty nine pounds and ten p. Which I is mean, a bargain. Bargain really. That'd be well over like a hundred pounds back home. And like a steakhouse. I mean, for a decent dry, eight, forty-two yeah. day age, forty-two day dry age prime steak. The tongue twister that is when you got grease all over <laughs> your mouth. It was delicious. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, like I say, the service was great. Um, you know, it was in a nice setting. Yeah. We said it was on the eighth, eighth floor. Eighth floor. In, yeah. Just by the atrium. I think definitely nice if you want to like treat yourself, maybe it's like the last night of your holiday or you're celebrating like a birthday or anniversary yeah. whilst you're away um, or you just want to treat yourself in general. Yeah. You, if you, you love a steak, I definitely, recommend definitely go if you love a steak. I haven't got like a bad thing to say no, about it at all. No, not at all. all. No, it was absolutely Decent sized delicious. portions. Yeah. Uh, 
I mean, it was a massive burger for £8.50. I yeah. still don't think, we don't eat them really. I don't think you get a Burger King back home for that much. There's nowhere on the ship that really does great burgers like that. You no. don't get them in the free restaurants you get with the, tea. They do burgers in the dine, the boardwalk dine a bit in the Keys, but they're there, they're ready they're done. They're very fast foody, they're not... Uh, they're not like a they're prime not the burger. They're not quality, no. they're just, you know, they're okay. Grab and go, but, kind yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. but really enjoy it. Really recommend it. Let us know if you've been. Yes. Let us know if you're planning on going. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely get the tea boat. Delicious. Yes. But um, we'll say goodbye. It's like, I think I need to lie down after that see. I know. I need to buckle this belt yeah. a bit. Before we head out, at, we head out again. Yeah. <laughs> but make sure you like and subscribe. Yeah. Like I said, leave us a comment. And we will see you next time. I don't know where that will be. And thank you to the waiter if you're watching this. Because yeah. you said that you were going to subscribe to the channel. Yeah. So. <laughs> if, you've if you've subscribed, leave us a comment. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.